be. I just got two gallons. You know. There is nothing like a milk bath to smooth the wrinkles out of a 10,000-year-old tushy. But don't take a bath in our milk. Use the water that comes out of the faucet. I always put it back in the carton. <laughs> Kidding. Why don't you just wish for some more milk, Mom? Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. Will Jillian, the stubborn, non-wishing mommy, break down and wish for milk? Or will she drive to the store, be late for work, lose her job, lose the house, and move to a bad part of town when she marries a man named Gus? Even though his overalls say Chuck. <laughs> Happened to my sister Siobhan, although her overalls say Loretta. All right, all right. I wish I had some milk. I was gonna get your camel, but they don't like to be touched down there. If you know what I'm saying. Hiya. Thank you. Of course, your wish is my blah, blah, yada, yada, blah, blah. Mickey, you want to go tell your brother breakfast is ready? Sure. He's in the shower. I'll go flush the toilet, give him the old cold water surprise. <laughs> nice cow. Thank you. Made her myself. You know, there was a time when I would not have reacted well to a cow in the kitchen. Yeah, but I'm growing on you, aren't I? You see? You do for me, I do for you. You save my grandpa from being shipped off into outer space on a burning rug. I get you a quart of milk. Even Stephen. You know, Stephen's overall said Stephen. He had absolutely no imagination. <laughs> you know, this isn't real. I'm just trying to entertain you. <laughs> You're trying. You know what? The kids love having a grandpa around. And I really enjoy getting to know him and watching his unique zest for life. There are more vultures than there were yesterday. He's just been rescued from oblivion. He probably needs time to plan what to do with the rest of his life. I think he plans to spend it right there. No, I, I'm sure that he's got big ideas for his golden years. What? I've been here long enough. See? I don't know what I was doing sitting over there for a week and a half. Here's where I belong. I did enjoy it over there, though. He is getting closer to the door. No reason he has to. Why doesn't he stay here? Really? Yeah, that's what I do. I take in stray genies. Stray? You think of me as stray? Ask him. Ask me. Grandpa, how'd you like to move in here? No! <laughs> Wouldn't want to be a burden. See, he don't want to stay. What time do you have dinner? I like to eat around six. I like chicken. Grandpa, <laughs> should I send for your stuff? Got the stuff. Don't go anywhere without my stuff. That's your stuff? It actually holds a lot more than you'd think. You just have to add water. doing with a pack of cigarettes. Maybe she's one of the cool kids. Well, wait a minute. Smoking isn't cool. Well, didn't it used to be cool? Yeah, right up until the time they found out it'll kill you. Sorry, I didn't know. I've been rolled up in a rug. Why would somebody smoke if it's not good for them? Because she's 14. She thinks she's going to live forever. I guess I felt the same way when I was 14. Of course, in my case, I was right. Oh, I think you the toilet again! You think you'd learn to lock the door by now? <laughs> You want to explain this? Oh, come on, Mom. He takes forever in the shower, and he obviously likes a surprise. Or else he locked the door. I'm talking about what fell out of your backpack. Oh. I, I was just holding those for Cindy. She was just holding them. She's still one of the cool kids. What were you doing going through my backpack anyway? I wasn't. They fell out. All right. I asked, and, and you told me, and I believe you. And I'm going to let it drop. Good. But I'm not. Please, Mom. You didn't really think I was going to smoke these, did you? I don't know what to think. Well, then can I have them back? For Cindy. <laughs> I want to believe her. She's my kid, and I want to believe her. But I can't just believe her, because she's my kid. I wish I knew what she was really thinking. Granted. What? Well, you now have the power to read minds. Try it out. Go ahead. Try it again. Mom! Make you flush the toilet when I was in the shower again. I hope she does it again tomorrow. Kids twisted? I guess 
since I lost most of my genie powers, I'm gonna have to learn to do things like you humans do. What do you call this? That's a hammer. What's it do? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. It hammers. Is it called a hammer because it hammers, or does it hammer because that's what it's called? I don't know. Well, I don't see how we can go on. <laughs> nah, I don't like the hammer as well as this anyway. This is, I like this, uh... It's called a saw. Saw, I like the saw. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandson. What's that in your hand? Saw. Have you been using the saw? No. Now, I know you said no, so I'm gonna give you another chance to tell me. Have you been using the saw? No. Are you lying to me? <laughs> yes. Hey, I could've done that. Next thing he's gonna show me was glue. No, wait, no. Please don't show Grandpa any more tools. She wants to learn how to do stuff. Hey, I know what. Now that I know how to use the saw, I'll build myself a tree house. I'll build a tree house and I could live in it with a duck pond. I could build a tree house with... I love ducks. With, I used to be a duck, not on purpose. Grandpa, I was kind of hoping that maybe you'd move in with me. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Don't want to be a bird. What time do you eat dinner? I like to eat around six. I like chicken. Hey, you know what? Your house is in dire need of repairs. Actually, I'll take not. the hammer and the no. saw. No, no, I can no, no, the no, no. See, these tools, I belong to Travis. They have great sentimental value. They were given to him on the occasion of his retirement from broadcasting. You can keep them, Grandpa Max. Thank you. Now, where's that acetylene torch you were talking about? <laughs> no more tools for Grandpa. Say it. No more tools for Grandpa. We have to watch out for him, Travis. We have to watch out for him, Travis. <laughs> Just like the way he watched out for me when I was a little genie. Yeah, but he's a grown-up. Why can't he take care of himself? Be Come here. Travis, he really was a duck. <laughs> we couldn't find him. Nobody could. You know where we finally found him? hanging from his little webbed feet in a window in a restaurant in Chinatown. Now you've got him sawing himself in half. But we're gonna build a tree house. Oh! <laughs> Built. Split-level duplex. You're gonna love it. I heated the jacuzzi for you. <laughs> hey, Mom, can I go to the Third Street Promenade with some friends after dinner? Which friends? Friends you like. Your favorite friends of mine. <laughs> and if I say Cindy, you're gonna think I'm gonna hang out and smoke. Mickey, I don't want you to smoke. Mom, I told you the cigarettes weren't mine. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. <laughs> no. Why is smoking such a big deal anyway? Some of my friends do it, and it's not going to hurt me. If I ever see you with a cigarette in your mouth, it doesn't matter what your friends do, because you're not going to get out of the house to see any of them. This isn't about my friends. It's about whether you trust me or not. Wrong, because I do trust you. But some friends can be bad influences. Cindy's not a bad influence. Especially Cindy. <laughs> At least she doesn't know we robbed the liquor store. You robbed a what? Knew it. Jenny! Hello. You made a do my mom could read my mind, didn't you? Mickey, you know I can't tell you that. My mind is private. That's where it's been going through my backpack. I didn't go through your backpack. I know you can hear me. So I just want you to know that I'm never going to think about anything in front of you again. Well, that went just about as good as it could have. I wonder if I'm smiling too big. What have I done? Do you smell something burning? Like burning plastic? Oh, wait a minute. That's my house. Oh, no. Grandpa! I left him in there by himself. Grandpa! <laughs> Forget about me. Save yourself. Oh. <laughs> but it's not on fire out here. Run to the edge of the bookcase. I'll catch you. Don't let me fall. I won't. Boy, Stay low. No. <laughs> Kiddo, where are you, boy? Get up. <laughs> oh, Max, are you all right? He's fine. Get off. I, however, have been better. What were you doing in there? Barbecuing. I took the little plastic chickens and I put them on the little plastic grill, and then I took the little plastic coals and I lit them with my big old acetylene torch, and then I took a nap. That was my mistake. Right. That was my mistake. No, that was my mistake. 
I should never have left you in there all by yourself. Boss, just make a dinner. I told you I'd like to eat around six. Grandpa, you don't have to do anything. I can whip up whatever you want in a snap. Oh, but I can't, because when I, when I snap, you don't know what you're going to get. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just trying to protect you. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I don't need your protection. You don't have to follow me around, pick up after me every minute. I'm 50,000 years old. I deserve more, more respect than that. And I'm going to go somewhere where I can get it. <laughs> Quit following me. <laughs> now, the heck with it.